Okay, so today's video is going to be on this little tarpon engine, and this is one of the latest projects that I've acquired in the last couple of weeks. Now, tarpon engine was originally used for a generating set, and um, and it would have it would have actually, funnily enough, gone on that base there. So the engine would have sat there, the exhaust pipe just there would have gone into the base, followed its way around, and come out there. So it's a way of silencing the engine. So that is actually not going all the way in and you would have had a handlebar come out and up so you can move it easily and the generator would have been mounted on there i bought it without the generator because i had an idea for the engine so i don't really need the generator itself and I, i've wanted one of the engines because they're they're kind of specifically made for it and they weren't really they weren't really sold as an engine on its own and i didn't really want to buy the generator as it seemed a waste to split off the generator so I will, uh, I'll show you around the engine and what it's got that's going to be a little bit of a trouble and what other interesting little features it's got. So towards the back of the engine we've got a little housing here and this would have obviously been mounted somewhere on the generator as it's all quite round that had been bolted in and there would have been a shaft connecting. Underneath here we've got this, this flange which we must have connected to another flange and unfortunately it's had half of it broken off but I don't really need it on there I want to have a clean shaft coming through and as it's threaded it looks like I'm gonna to have to make a sleeve um, a sleeve to fit over over the shaft and so I can put a bolt on to make it a standard uniform smooth shaft coming out so I can fit a clutch just at a simple little centrifugal clutch now it depends on how thick I make it I'll have to buy a clutch accordingly Inside this little housing is a cooling fan because when you think about it if it's a little generator and it's not got any fins on the flywheel then it will need some method of cooling and I'm debating whether to keep this with with the engine I don't think it'll be needed in the purpose that I'm going to have it um, so it all depends really uh, it does spin quite freely and it would have had a pulley at some time some point or I don't really know but it's quite a nice little feature it has and it's a shame because it's missing half the sticker that would have been there but um no yeah it's, it's, it's a nice little engine now on the carburetor we've got another slight problem the carburetor would have been governed by a little box that i will show you just now now i believe this is the little box that would have controlled the go the carburetor now obviously when you put a device or plug something in on the generator it creates a load and when the load is created you'll need to alter the engine's revs accordingly so here we have inside the carburetor just a simple butterfly valve um, I can't remember which position it is in because I've, I've slackened it off so as you can see it moves far too far and here you have a little little arm that moves back and forth so I, I think there must be some sort of solenoid inside there. Um, it says Tarpon Engineering Co. Uh, LTD and it's got the number 62 on it. I'm not too sure how this was arranged. I should imagine it would have been somewhere underneath or something. Um, and when the engine was put under load, it would be actuated and it would give it more throttle. So that's one problem. I'm, I'm not too sure if I have a carburetor to fit this size um, the size stub in port port um, and if I do then I'll just swap the engine the carburetor out and if not then I'll have to make a rig so that when a throttle cable is pulled it'll it'll actuate the carburetor so that's one thing we'll have to do um, the other problem that we've found with the engine it's nothing major is that Hang on, one second. Problem is that the exhaust, the, the exhaust pipe, the way it's been formed and comes out, it would have fit that nice, nicely. But for testing purposes, I mean, it's not gonna stay on this little wooden base for long, but for testing purposes, it's coming out and sitting just there. I mean, it's wood. It's gonna be quite noisy, I reckon, when it first starts up. So what I'm planning on doing is cutting it off at the manifold where it bolts in it's like this little it's the same shape as that uh cutting it off and putting it in a different way and welding it so it's just coming out maybe to the side at an angle or something like that 
I'm not too sure what I can do yet. I mean, I might swap the ends over as well, so it's got a large, larger piece coming out, so it can go out to the side. I don't know. So I'll give you a quick look at the badge, just for interest. You can pause the screen if you want to, to have a read of it if you need it. Say if you've got one or anything like that. But um, no, it's got some quite good. It's got spark and compression. So um, yeah, it should be a good little engine. We got a few problems to sort it first before we start it. But uh, I'll keep you updated and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.